I just have a quick question about abortion. I was wondering, sure. um, the way you're describing it, it sounds like uh, killing of babies, whether unborn or born, um, sounds like a first degree murder case. I just wanna make sure I'm getting that right. Um, punishment for first degree murder is life imprisonment without parole. I was wondering if you think um, people who commit abortions should be sentenced to life imprisonment without parole. And doctors, specifically? I mean, uh, it, doctors or mothers. Okay, uh, so the, the, the position of the pro-life movement has been for decades that mothers should not be punished for abortion, that women are at least in part as much a victim of the abortion as the child. And that springs largely from ignorance about what exactly is being killed. Very few women are actively saying, Sure, it's a baby in my womb. Take it out. Most of them are saying it's a ball of tissue. It's nothing. It doesn't mean anything. I've been told by Planned Parenthood that it means nothing. Uh, so go ahead and perform this polyp surgery. Uh, and so that's acting out of ignorance. It lacks the mens rea and right, sort of legal terminology that would be necessary in order to establish something like a first degree murder charge. The same thing does not hold true for uh, Kermit Gosnell. The same thing does not hold true for abortion doctors who are fully aware that a 20 week old baby is in fact a baby, and who are aware that an incipient human life is in fact an incipient human life. Now, when it comes to gradations of punishment based on the term of the abortion, it's an argument that honestly I haven't considered very much, to be frank with you. Like, I haven't actually sat down and thought about what a criminal code would look like. Is it the same punishment for aborting at two weeks as it would be for aborting at, at 30 weeks? I think, first of all, it would be difficult to establish any sort of public support for a law quite like that. Uh, my, my, my main issue is not about the punishment so much as it is about the disincentive to the performance of the abortion itself. I'm more interested in preserving the lives as opposed to punishing the people who are taking them. The only reason to punish is to preserve the lives and provide a disincentive. So whatever disincentive was necessary in order to prevent the murder of the unborn, I'm very much in favor of. Okay, so you said whatever disincentive is necessary. Um, is there a limit on to what lengths you would go if you were imposing policy to... Um, prevent abortion or like? Yeah, I mean, I just, I said, I wouldn't, I, I don't think that a punishment is appropriate for the mother. I think when it comes to abortion doctors who are making their living by killing presumably thousands of unborn children, uh, there are very few lengths to which I, I think that I would not go in terms of government policy in punishing those doctors and giving them jail time. Okay, thank you, Ben.